Well, 28 races are in the books in the in the Interseri Melial Racing Series, and one stop remains here at as we're here at Atlanta Motor Speedway <coughs> in Atlanta, Georgia, as we're set for the for the season finale to Slick 5300, as we are set for 33 as 30 as 33 laps remain on the season, and we have a very very tight championship battle upon us here, here. As 19 points separate the top three drivers in the points chase coming in, that being Levi McIntyre, the leader, second place Dylan Young, and third place Laura Chung, as far as the points are concerned. So this should be a plenty interesting race here today, said, uh, needless to say. And we'll see who we'll see we'll see who's crowned champion after 33 laps of racing here today. So. So that said, here on the pole for this race here today, as let's let's not forget though, we have three drivers. We have we have, we have three drivers racing for the championship, but we also have 37 other drivers that's going to try to go for the win. Let's put it that. Let's re, let's remember that. On the pole for race race, it's number four, William Brock. He's alongside Kyle Matthews in car number seven, qualifying both qualifying at almost 195 miles per hour. Second row is Trent Dunham in number 18, and number 48, Jesse Turner sits alongside. Third row has the car as car number 36. That's Igor Barreto. He's alongside number 66. That's Zachary Fitzwater sitting alongside in the Phillips 66 Trop Arctic Chevrolet. Fourth row has Cole Deaver. He'll be back with us ride next season. The number three AC Delco Chevrolet, the defending series champion. He also sits he sits alongside car number 38, Joshua Osborne in the Great Clips Toyota. Going to row number five has car number 74. That is that is Daniel Bouchard. Three time the season so far, defeating the Lube Staff America Chevrolet. And alongside of him will be car number 45. That is James Sykes, who won at Richmond this season. The <coughs> spree prepaid phone car Chevrolet. I should say, Beretta won the first Richmond race this season. Going to row number um, 6 has car number 10, Keith Batson, looking for the Atlanta sweep this season. Beside Batson, will, or going for the Atlanta sweep, I should say. Batson's going for the Atlanta sweep this season. Beside him will be car number 93, Laura Chung. Third in the points coming in this race. She's only won once that coming way back at Texas this season. But she has recorded 11 top fives and, and 13 top tens this season. So that's so the consistency has gotten her to this point. Next row down has the queen of the NSCRA herself, Jessica Shelton, number 17, the DeWalt Tool Chevrolet. She's won twice this season so far. She's alongside Quentin Moore, winner of, at Colorado National Speedway. He also won a season opener at, at Daytona in the Goodies 300. <clears throat> next row is 72, Lucas Martins, and number 34, Al Lagasse. Next row down has the test 15, Ron, Igor Barreto. And number 88, that is Allison Rain. Next row down has car number 9, that's Kat Batson in the in the game detergent Ford. She's alongside number 98, uh, Dougie Shears. Next row down has number double zero, Seth Cole, and number 8, Rob Evans. Next row down has number 20, that's number 62, that's, that's Zach Winkle. He's alongside car number... 87, Paul Minnick. Next row down has car 26. That's Carson Gum, who won the second Rockingham race this season. He's alongside number 24, Charles Sanford in the Pepsi Chevrolet. Next row down has car number 5, Kev Shearer, and number 33, Jacob Thibodeau. Next row has number 2, Dylan Young. Number 2 in the points coming in this race here. 11 points behind the leader, Levi McIntyre. Alongside number 32, Derek Edison. Then it's Nathan Orman in 27, and number 77, uh, Stephen Colonna in the next row down. Next row after that is car 22, Jeff Scott, and Levi McIntyre. The points are starting way back in the field. Then it's number 63, that's Connor Breton, and beside him, number 99, Dylan Abrahamian. Next row down has, has Cole Kwebe in 44, and 37, Muhammad Abdullah. And starting shotgun is car number 1, Daniel Gatrock, and number 92, that is Cement Oscon. Here comes the command, command to fire the engines here at Atlanta. Gentlemen! Start your engines! Command's been given the party engines for the final time in the LEO Racing Series season for season two. We'll have here as the pace for the race to come off the pace of the race after this. The old command on the back stretch here in car cameras today would be carried by all three of our championship contenders that being Laura Chung, Levi McIntyre, and Dylan Young. Laura starts the best out of all of those championship contenders. She starts 14th, while Dylan Young starts 29th, and Levi starts 34th. That's how they start here today. <clears throat> so should be interesting to see how this how this race comes out. 
after all 33, 33 after all 33 laps are completed here today in Atlanta. Pace car ducks off on the pit road. Getting set for the restart here for the final time as the Slick 5300 is about to get underway here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. William Brock and Kyle Matthews will lead them down. Green flag flies. Here we go. It'll be 50 laps tomorrow uh, Tomorrow for the finale of the Castrol TTX Cup Series, the Napa Auto Parts 500, which will be a 50-lap race. And in the third turn they go here, Trent Dunham takes, gets past Kyle Matthews for second place. William Brock leads at number one, Trent Dunham second position, Igor Barreto trying for third position now in car 36 as they come off the second turn. Laura Chung's moved up to the high side of the track here in number 93 car, there she is. Well, We'll find her for a minute. There she is, right there behind Quentin Moore in 40 and 89 and 45 and James Sykes. Three wide off the fourth turn between Sykes, Moore, and Barrett and um, Ryan Brommer. And now Lucas Martins in this in this mix as well, too. There's uh, quite a scramble between those cars here. As they come down the back stretch here, and now Battle for Lee starting to develop here up, up front here. Cole Deaver. Oh. Trying to take the AC Delco Chevrolet for the top spot now. <coughs> Trying for second place on car 36, Igor Barreto. That's Daniel Bouchard behind him in 74, Keith Batson in 10, and Jessica Shelton in 17. He's kind of on the back stretch now, and Cole Beaver looking for the lead on car, in car number three, getting past William Brock in the four car. A very high speed track here at Atlanta and, and a very fun place to race, no question for the championship. I went back to the I went back to this version of Atlanta, by the way, I, let me explain why. I went back to this version of Atlanta because of the version that a lot of people a lot of people do like with the red and white walls. Yes, good racing, yes, but, but it's also kind of a breakfast version of Atlanta too, so after what we saw in the After what we saw in the Motorcraft 300 and the Motorcraft 500 earlier this season, uh, I thought I'd go back to this version of Atlanta. Besides, this version races a little bit better too than the first, uh, than the other version of Atlanta. <coughs> Deaver leads his lap here, but now here comes Daniel Bouchard, car 74. And let's remember, I mentioned all 37, we got 37 other cars in this field here, but a lot of them are going for points as well too. As far as uh, where they're at in the standings here, Beaver comes in the race seventh in the standings, while Bouchard comes in fifteenth in the points. He, and he's, he, I mentioned he has three wins this season. As Bouchard leads his lap of the race the, in this race, but Bouchard has as fifteenth in the points because he has had, if he's not winning or running good, he's got he's had problems throughout this event throughout the season too. So, but still, nonetheless, it's been a breakout season for Daniel Bouchard, and not just, not just in this series, but also in the Cup Series as well, too, where he's currently actually top five in the points coming into that race. If he comes in the Cup Series race fourth in the points, and he looks for a top five finish that season as, for the Cup Series season as well, too. Meantime, Lucas Martins looks low side. He'll take the he'll take the number two or take the number one spot away. It's a kind of the back stretch here, and, and Martins and Bouchard side by side as they come down the back stretch, and with Jessica Shelton in tow in the 17 machine. A 190 mile an hour pace lap happening here at Atlanta Motor Speedway as we are, as this Slick 5300 is now eight laps old. <clears throat> and now at 25 laps remaining in this race here, so. They'll be up in the distance some um, in the Melio series next season, by the way, for this series. Jessica Shelton to the low side. She'll take she'll try to take the lead from Lucas Martins, and she will do so. I think I think she did so at the top at the, at the line. Yes, she did. Gave it to Shelton by about a uh, about a bumper over Lucas Martins, and Shelton leads her first lap of the race. Jess, by the way, coming into this race, she comes in six in the standings, so not far behind Stephen Cologne, by the way, for the number five spot in the points, so she's looking for a top five finish this season. 
She came in as race number six in the standings. As we all know, she has a love-hate relationship with Atlanta. Of course, uh, more hate than anything else in some ways. I'll be honest with you on that for Shelton. Although she has won here before. Kyle Matthews now moving to the left side. He moves inside of Bouchard for second, for third place now. And Shelton tries to hang on to the lead. There's Lucas Martins goes low in 72. Looks for the top spot. You got you got Ryan Bomber behind them. They're now trying to take position away from Cole Deaver as Martins led the last time by. And now Cat Bass and car number nine dips low. And she'll try to take the advantage there. Tries to get by both Deaver and Bomber in one fell swoop as they come on the back stretch now. And look who's coming up to the field now. You got the championship contenders, tenders, Levi McIntyre and, Col and Dylan Young. Both of them have gotten by Laura Chung, so. And McIntyre now stuck up to the high side now as he gets behind Kev Shearer. And now Levi tries to move right in front of Stephen Cologne, but that's not going to happen. And now he's going to be stuck up to the high side again. And. James Sykes is not going to give him the bottom lane now. There is Cologne in car number 77. was mentioned number 5 in the points coming in this race. He's trying to hold on to the top 5 spot, but the bad news for him is Jessica Shelton is ahead of him. And to give you an idea, he was 30 points ahead of Shelton for that top 5 spot coming into this race, too. Three wide back uh, back there, up, uh, up in front, up front right now. Seth Colt has to take a lead from Kyle Matthews. <coughs> Who leads this side between those two Pontiacs? It's going to be Matthews leading that time by. And now Seth Cole moves to the low side, takes the lead away with Cat. That's now up to second position now in car number nine. Almost halfway home here. 15 laps in the books will be down to 18 laps remaining here at Atlanta. Now Cat Batson moves low side, tries to take the lead away, and yellow flag flies for the first time here today. Oh, and yeah, there was a crash already. Yeah, Jessica Shelton, 17 cars involved. Like I said, she has a love-hate relationship with, as I said, with Atlanta, and as I said, it's been more hate than everything, and now you see why. Quentin Moore also involved in the, in the 89 car. I think they wrecked after the caution flag. Oh, yeah, Quentin, there's Quentin. Upside down. This happened after they took the caution flag. We'll look and see what happened to cause the yellow flag first after this. Uh, tough to call on that one, but let's see. Quentin just drives Shelton right into the wall and an upside down goes the 89 car. And Jess comes down right in front of McIntyre, the points leader! Oh, me. I don't know how hard I don't know how hard he hit though, but well, let's go take a look, take a look at what happened there. Shelton goes back down the racetrack right there. Looked like she was gonna hit Keith Batson, and he and everybody else misses him. It seems like who she just about got Fitzward. Yeah, there's McIntyre. She got a piece of him for sure, or he got a piece of her. Oh gosh, that may have just knocked Levi right out of the championship right there. So that being said, let's take a look at what happened to cause the caution flag the first time. In the first place, I should say.
Okay, so now I see, let's see what I'm having to cause the yellow flag to fly here. Okay, what gives here? There was no reason to cause the yellow flag to fly. So the yellow flag just flew for no reason here at Atlanta. I don't know why here, but the uh, after what we saw with Shelton and Quentin Moore, I think I think that here that flew right after the after the yellow flag flew. Um, a couple of damaged up cars after this too. But as far as the point, as far as the race itself though, Shelton and, Shelton and Moore are the only two cars out of the race though. So there goes the top five Shelton was hoping for. Unfortunately for her and Quentin Moore, he comes in. He came into this race ninth in the standings, but he's got a top ten wrapped up because he's a, because he was 134 points ahead of a tenth place of um, Dougie Shears. And Daniel Gatrock is two laps down. He is the only car not on the lead lap out of the cars that's still running. As for Levi McIntyre, with a hit, just dropped him back to 24th place. While Laura Chung is 26 and Dylan Young right now is running in 12th position. So right now Young would have the championship if things were to end now. But we still got this time by, let's see. This, we're going to restart it on lap number 20. So this time, this time by we have 14 laps remaining in this race here at Atlanta. The reset the field for you here. It's Seth Cole, your leader. Second position is... Is Cat Batson. Third spot is Kyle Matthews. Fourth position right now is Igor Barreto. Fifth is Lucas Martin. Sixth position is um, <clears throat> Sixth position is Zach Winkle. Seventh is Ryan Brommer. Eighth is Al Legacy. Ninth is D is Daniel Bouchard. And tenth position is is Carson Gunn. Eleventh right now is Eleventh is Cole Beaver. Twelfth position is Dylan Young, 13th is the pole sitter, um, Quentin, is the pole sitter, um, William Brock, 15th right now is Allison Rain, 16th is Keith Batson, 17th is James Sykes, 18th is Trent Dunham, 19th is Charles Samper, and 20th right now is the 48th of Jesse Turner. So... Here they come off turn number four right now. I'm going to set up a green flag here as we are down to 14 laps remaining here at Atlanta Motor Speedway in the Slick 5300. Back underway. Fast side of the race so far as we are in this race here, Levi McIntyre actually held the fast side of the race so far at 196.162 miles per hour. In fact, uh, top three cars over 196 miles an hour. You mentioned very fast track here in Atlanta. The Cup cars were fast here as well too, qualifying wise, for the Napa Auto Parts 500 race. Seth Cole right now is the leader. Second, as I mentioned, is Kyle Matthews. Here comes Igor Barreto at the third position now in the car 36 here. So you got Pontiac first, second, and third. Then you got Chevy in fourth and fifth right now. Daniel the statement the truck again. The one car is not on the lead lap. He is two laps down in this race so far. In the meantime, here comes that number two, Dylan Young, the AC Delco Chevrolet. 2001 Monte Carlo, he is right here. He's jumping inside going on the machine. Running right where he needs to be right now for the first fifth. But for the championship, he's ahead of both McIntyre and Chung right now. Makes the position going to him in his race 11 points behind McIntyre for the championship. He right now runs in ninth position. McIntyre has dropped back to 36th position and Chung is 35th. So right now, 
Battle for the lead between Kyle Matthews and Seth Cole. Al Lagacy's worked his way up to the field now. 34 car up to the fifth position now in the Gould's Pump Chevrolet. Matthews had to lead by just a bumper that time by. Nine laps remaining here in the season. Seth Cole worked his way up to the high side now. He's got the high line working to his advantage here. Matthews, I'm sure a little bit frustrated he can't get by Seth up on the low side of the track. I'm sure here, yeah, but come off turn number four now. Matthews tries once again off that fourth corner. Seth on the high side, Matthews on the low side. Seth led that time by. I tell you what, this keeps up though. We may have a photo finish at the start finish line and the checkers out, but here comes Igor Barreto to the low side. I mean, he's gonna make a three wide for the lead. Three Pontiacs all in a row here at Atlanta as they come into the third turn now. And Igor Barreto, how about that 36 car up to the top spot now, or, or tries for the top spot, I should say. Seth, once again, pulls ahead off turn number four. And it's he and Matthews again, top two. <laughs> May have an epic finish to this race, possibly, here. We've seen some epic Atlanta finishes, not just in NR, but also real-life Atlanta, too. And not just in the Cup Series, but not just reverse, reserve for the Cup Series. We've seen some in, in, in trucks, and we see all, we also seen an epic three-wide finish in ARCA one time. 1997 ARCA race in Atlanta, if you don't know which one I'm talking about. But right now, Seth Cole holds on for the time being as he is, as, as we go, as, as we can, as this time by completes, completes lap number 28, we'll have five to go. Dylan Young staying low on that track here. <clears throat> he knows, always, he knows, like I said, he's always, all, you, all he's got to do is hold on. Don't do anything dumb. That's basically the, that's basically the big thing though. Barreto to the inside of Matthews for second place now, car number 36. Stanley Tools Pontiac, and could he pull off an upset here? We've seen some upsets in this series in some ways too. And Barreto could be a surprise winner. And of course, Igor Barreto, of course, by the way, he's a regular in Dylan Young's Spectrum Mobile Cup Series, by the way. That's where you heard this name from. Come off the second turn now. Al Legacy, he's not yet won as well too this season. So has Zach Winkle, he's not yet won as well too. Off the fourth turn they come. It'll be down. It'll be 30 laps down. Three to go here in Atlanta. This could be a good one here. Down the back stretch they come here. Barreto on the inside. Seth Cole on the high side of the track here. Off turn number four they come. It'll be down to two laps to go. Barreto pulls ahead of Seth Cole as they come off the fourth turn now. Al Lagasy trying to shove him. They're trying to shove the 36 car up there. Lucas Martins. I tell you what, we may have a, we may have a surprise winner here in this race here. So uh, this race because we got three surprises in the low side. You got three of the you got three of the veterans on the high side here with Seth Cole, Kyle Matthews, and Carson Gum. Barreto pulls ahead here to come off the fourth turn now. The white flag waves. Here comes Luke. Here comes Al Legacy to the low side. White flag waves for Igor Barreto. He has one lap remaining here in Atlanta. Al Legacy trying to dip low in the race right here. Here he comes at 34 car to the low side. Off turn number two, they come here. 30, Barreto on the high side, Legacy on the low side. Here they come off the fourth turn. They're side by side to the start finish line. This, this is a, what, a way, what a way for the season to end here. To the start finish line, Igor Barreto wins the Slick 5300. And Dylan Young wins the season 
2 Melial Racing Series Championship. Boy, and I thought I thought Al Legacy may have had a shot there come out that fourth turn because he because he got he made because he got a run off the fourth turn coming to the checkered flag. But for Igor Barreto, he had the high side working to his advantage, and it pay, and it paid off for the Stanley Tools Pontiac as he goes to victory lane here today. Igor Barreto comes up <coughs> the winner. Second will go to Al Lagasse, Seth Cole third, Kyle Matthews fourth, Lucas Martins fifth. Sixth will go to Carson Gunn, Zach Winkle seventh. Eighth will go to Daniel Bouchard, Dylan Young ninth, and Keith Batson will finish tenth. Eleventh to Stephen Cologne, twelfth to Cole Deaver, thirteenth William Brock. Allison Rain, 14th. 15th will go to James Sykes. 16th place will go to Trent Dunham. 17th, Kat Batson. 18th to Ryan Brommer. 19th to Kev Shearer. 20th to Charles Sanford. Rest of the field for you here. Paul Minnick will finish in 21st position. 22nd to Jacob Thibodeau. Joshua Osborne, 23rd. 24th will go to Jesse Turner. Derek Edison, 25th. Nathan Orman, 26th. Rob Evans, 27th. Dougie Shears, 28th. Laura Chung, not the way she wanted to finish her season. She finishes 29th. But I think he'll. But I think she'll get second place out of all this too in the points. Um, 29th will go or 30th, I should say, will go to Jeff Scott. Cole Quibi, 31st. Dylan Abrahamian, 32nd. Connor Breton, 33rd. Muhammad Abdullah, 34th. Samit Oscon, 35th. Zachary Fitzwater, 36th. And Levi McIntyre. The points leader coming in this race, last car to finish on the lead lap, and that's not the way I'm sure Levi, I'm sure Levi, Levi very disappointed over that. And the points leader coming into this race, and ended up losing it after getting involved into a skirmish, that skirmish that Jessica Shelton and Quentin Moore got into. The cars that finished out of the race were, in fact, Quentin Moore and Jessica Shelton. Quentin, Quentin finishes 39th, and Jess, unfortunately for her, Answer season 40th in the final finishing order in this race here. So average speed of 153.485 miles per hour here. Igor Barreto gets the victory here today. We'll be back for the for, we'll be back for the final finishing results and the points right after this. Welcome back here, guys, and uh, this is the final point standings we are having for this season, we have for the season's Melly Yellow Racing Series, and indeed it is. Dylan Young is the is the champion for season two of the Melly Yellow Racing Series, <clears throat> with two wins, seven top fives, and 15 top ten finishes this season, and a grand total of 3,757 points there, as, as he is the champion by 70 points over Laura Chung. And Levi McIntyre drops from first to fifth, uh, from first to third, I should say, in the standings. Levi finishes 75 points out in the third position, though. But still a great season for all those three of those drivers here. Um, we mentioned we told you Dylan Young stats here. Laura Chung, one win, 11 top fives, most out of anybody else in the top five list. And 13 top ten finishes here. An average finish of 13.76, whereas opposed to 12.93 for Dylan Young. And Laura finished with 3,687 points. <clears throat> Levi McIntyre, he had 3,682 points, uh, 75 points out of the lead. He had he ended up with three wins, seven top fives, and 14 top ten finishes, an average finish of 13.72. And he also had three pole positions this season as well, too. So the rest of your top five, Trent Dunham finishes fourth. He had two wins, seven top fives, and 16 top ten finishes. And an average and a at a point total of 3,624. He is 133 points out of the lead. And finishing 180 out of the lead in the fifth spot is Stephen Cologne with a great season this season for him. He had one win, six pole, he had one win, six top fives, and eleven top ten finishes and one pole position this season. So and an average point and a point total of 3,577. So uh, Stephen Cologne had a really good season as well. That's, that was your top five finish, top five in the points, six through ten. Seth Cole finished, moved up to number six in the points after this, after his, after his uh, great run at Atlanta. One win, four top fives, and fourteen top ten finishes. He had one pole position, and a point total of three thousand five thirty-six. 
Defending Series champion Cole Deaver. He ends up finishing seventh in the standings with three wins, nine top fives, and 11 top tens. Jessica Shelton dropped to number eight in the points, though, after that, after that crash at Atlanta, unfortunately for her. But she did finish with two with two wins, six top fives, and ten top ten finishes, and six pole positions. Don't say she's not the queen. Of, don't say don't say don't say she's not the queen of qualifying. So anyway, um, and she had a point total of three thousand four sixty five on the season. Uh, Quentin Moore ends up finishing ninth in the standings. Standings though, he had two he had two wins at Colorado National Speed. He had one at Colorado National Speedway, and he also won at. The Daytona of the season opener in a goodies 300. He had six. He also, like Shelton, had six top fives and ten top ten finishes this season as well too. Or for Jess, her two wins by the way came at um, at Mid Ohio, and she also won at Milwaukee in that great finish to the Die Hard 250. Uh, finishing tenth in the standings was Charles Sanford. He had he didn't win a race, but he had five top fives and nine top ten finishes and three pole positions. And a, pull, and a point total of 3,301 as he beat Kev Shearer out by four points for the number 10 spot in the standings. Where was Dougie Shears, you might ask? He was the one tenth in the points coming into Atlanta. He dropped three positions after his bad run at Atlanta, and Shears dropped from 10th to 13th in the standings on the season. No wins, but he had five, 11, but he five, he had five top fives and 11 top 10 finishes, as did Kyle Matthews, he, who finished 11th in the points. He also had five top fives and 11 top 10 finishes, but Kyle won a race this season. So that basically, <clears throat> so that basically was the difference right there. Dougie Shears comes home 13th in the standings, though this season that's still not, still not bad for him in his return. Derek Edison finished 14th in the points, and Daniel Bouchard, three wins this season. He finished number 15 in the points. He had eight top fives and 12 top, fin top 10 finishes. A slow start he had basically is what killed his momentum is what, is, what, is what basically killed his shot at a top 10 points finish, though. Otherwise, that, that looked like top 10 stats for Bouchard, though, but he had a slow start to the season. Carson Gunn was 16th in the points, and Cat Bats in 17th. Joshua Osborne finished 18th in the points. 19th was Nathan Ormond, and Igor Barreto finished in 20th, with that, and that win at Atlanta helped him. He moved up two spots to that top 20 place in the points. He had one win, three top fives, and seven top 10 finishes. Allison Rain comes home in 11th in the points. 12th or 22nd was Jesse Turner. He was the he was the one who was 20th in the points coming into this race, into Atlanta. But Jesse unfortunately finished 22nd in the points for him. Zach Winkle 23rd, 24th William Brock, and 25th position was Paul Minnick. Ke uh, Keith Batson with the 26th in the standings coming in uh, coming out of Atlanta with that 10th place finish. He had one win, two top fives, and seven top tens. Slow. Season for the Batson Bunch. Um, Rob Evans, 27th. 28th with Al Legacy. 29th with James Sykes. Lucas Martin ends up finishing in 30th after he had a top 10 finish in this race at Atlanta as well, too. Zachary Fitzwater, 31st. Jacob Thibodeau, 32nd. Ryan Brommer finished 33rd in the points. Jeff Scott, 34th. Cement Oscon, 35th. Muhammad Abdullah, 36th. Connor Breton, 37th. Dylan Abrahamian, 38th. Cole Quaby, 39th. And 40th was... Daniel Gatruck. Ignore my name on that list, by the way, too. Ignore, ignore, ignore my name on, on my list because I didn't run any of the races. So, so that is your points finish. That's your that's your final points for this for the season of the Mel Yellow Racing Series. We we are, we are there. thanks for joining us this season here, and we are looking forward to having season three with a 1997 Bush Series car set for the GNS mod. And if you like what you see here, be sure to subscribe to the NS to the NS Series Sports and Gaming channel. We got everything on this channel. We got in our races. We got gaming videos. We got in our online videos. Whatever the president of the NS Series, Seth Cole desires to have for his channel, be sure to check out Seth's Russell Cup Series, which is the main series on this channel. And also be sure to, to to and if you want in on his series next season, then please get with Seth and he'll get you and he'll get you going <coughs> for the season. Also be sure to check to subscribe to both. Thrash Maniac 99 and X8675309858. X. Those are the two guys that does uh, also does in a CRA offline series. X8675309858 X is the channel that does the NSA Spectrum Mobile Cup series. And Thrash Maniac 99 is the channel that does the NSA Marvel Studios Cup series. So be sure to subscribe to those two channels. They both got some they, uh, and they both got some cool stuff on there too, just like we do here in the NSA CRA Sports and Gaming channel. So thank you so much for joining us for the season of the Mel Yellow Racing Series. We'll see you for the Casual GTX Cup Series finale, the Napa Note, the Napa Note, the Napa Auto Parts 500 
Also here at Atlanta Motor Speedway, for now, this is Jane Squalls. This has been production of the Internet CRA. Celebrating 10 years of offline racing at its best. Congre again, congratulations to race winner Igor Barreto and, and Meliel Racing Series champion for season 2, Dylan Young.